this another parable here I don't read out the parable because this is a a, a long parable about the talents okay there are three servants one servant received the master uh, gave him uh, five talents the other servant uh, two talents and the third servant one talent and the, the servants with the five and two talents came back and earned the same amount but then the servant with the one talent just buried it underground and then the master said to the, the two the one the, the uh, those who have earned money back he said you're a good and faithful servant and you'll come and enjoy the joy of your master so that's the the grace of God and then uh, to the one that buried the talents that there is warning that person who uh, you know he doesn't do anything good at all he doesn't use his talents at all that he w was thrown into the outer darkness where he'll gnash his teeth this is not heaven some people say this is a middle ground there's no middle ground the Bible only talk about eternal life or eternal death the Bible doesn't talk about a third place so some people say the place of the gnashing of teeth is a third place there's no such place the Bible doesn't talk about that so these people they have zero faith they don't live out the faith they don't use the talents they have to go into eternal damnation that's terrible okay now grace of God God gives talents and ability to mo and motivation to to use this talents for God so give God give us talents and ability he give us all kinds of spiritual gifts and ability and he give us motivation to use his talents for God so this is the grace of God and then when God converts us he gives us the new nature that wants to use uh, his talents so he gave us the new nature that we want to uh, use the talents he gave us the motivation to use the talents okay this should be the give us the new nature grace when we use our talents for God God will appreciate and reward us when we use the talents God is very happy and he will reward us and why some Christians don't use their talents because they're lazy because they think they cannot do anything good but as I said earlier just give a cup of water God will reward us just put the chairs of the church in place just welcome people just be nice to people all these little things God will reward when we do it for Jesus name uh, in Jesus name for Jesus sake and warning when Christians don't use the talents at all they have to face judgment and how we can start to use our talents so we start to do nice things to people and we respond to the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit might move us to be nice to our neighbors so that we can bring the gospel to them God will move in our heart to do different things and the church also asks people to help and then we'll respond to that and then we tell ourselves I do this uh, uh, God is happy with me so I can be happy serving God so we I encourage you all that you encourage the church members to always think about the promises of Jesus he has promised us that whatever little things we do for people he will reward us so we can be always happy for the little thing we do for God but we're not proud we are happy we're joyful we thank God that we have the opportunity to serve him